I'm looking for getting off on a good start, obviously. It's, it's always that uh, long wait from the last match to the first match, uh, end of the season, to start of the season. Um, you know, lots of training. Uh, so yeah, you're, you're working on things in the off season, so it's about how to put them back in your game, get, uh, get in that match environment again. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, I went to Bahamas e each year. I always start in London um, and do more fitness there. And then when I go uh, to Florida, I've done the last three years. And then this year I went to Bahamas. It's just to get in some warm weather and, and feel the, you know, the sun on your back. And, and basically that's it. Yeah, get some warm weather training. Also helps your fitness. Um, when you're playing indoors in London, it doesn't really replicate what it's like in, uh, in Australia. So you finished 2017 inside the top 50 for the first uh, for the second consecutive year and won a career high 30 matches. Were you satisfied with your season, or were you hoping to push even higher? I was hoping to push higher, um, especially like you said after last year before. Um, I just finished inside 50, 40 something, so it would have been nice to push on. Um, so yeah, I mean, is what it is really. I'm basically pretty much starting exactly where I was this time last year. So with a, another year's experience under my belt, hopefully I can use that to, to improve my game and, and get you know losses into wins. There was a period last year where I lost quite a few tight matches to, to good guys um, and just wasn't able to get some wins that I would have liked to. So hopefully this year. Yeah, most of them I, I play reasonably well. Like, uh, I had a good match against Rafa at Monte Carlo. He's he won ten titles there now, so it's very much his court, um, his tournament there. Um, so to take him to three sets um, was was a really good thing on clay. First time for me playing there as well. Um, what else was there? I took uh, yeah Dimitrov to, to three sets. Ryanic, Favrinka here. So uh, there's definitely lots of positive there that I'm getting into positions like that, but. Yeah, it's taking that next step now. I mean, yeah. it, the tennis year is so long, so it, it works both ways. That even if you don't have good starts, it, it's so long that uh, just because you don't have a good start doesn't mean you can't have a good season. But saying again, it's it's human nature. Any positivity is always a good feeling for for people. They like to feel good about their game and results, and that's the way it works. I had a a good start last year. I beat um, Escobedo and Puy. Uh, and there was a two good matches and played a good match against Vavrinka. So I did start the year well last year, but still didn't have the year I wanted to. So, you know, you, there's always different ways of looking at it. I think it's just doing your best at that present moment.